I'm a fisherman by trade, but I was encouraged to re, re, be uh, to join the Tinners Regiment uh, from by uh, Philip Francis, the former Lord Mayor. Uh, he's my landlord, so I didn't really have a lot of option. Um, they sent us to fight at, at Lipson, and the battle was loud and tumultuous and confused, and there was smoke and shouting and drums and much fire. So loud. I'd not heard anything so loud except for the church bells quite close. And the smell of burnt powder and uh, people wounded and the screams. It was a very bad time. It's very confusing. My sergeant said I did well, so I suppose that's something to be pleased with. I fired my musket as I should and kept firing to the word of command, which uh, was all we, any, can, anyone can expect of a, a single musketeer. But they trained us in the musket and we followed our training. They drummed it into us, teaching us the steps to the beat of a drum. Open the pan, clean the pan, prime the pan with our small flask of finer powder, close the pan, blow off any extra, cast about, Add your charge from your touch bottle or charge from your collar of bandoliers. Add your wad, bit of scrap linen or paper if you can find it, and the ball. Ram home to pack the powder tightly. Three goodly strikes they say we must give it. Else we'll not pack the powder properly and it might not fire. And then blow upon the coal of your match to make sure it glows bright and orange. Cock your match, try it to make sure it will hit the pan and then wait for the word of command. And the officer will say, at the enemy to your four, present. And you step in, lean into the musket, ready for it to fire. And he gives the command, give fire. You squeeze the trigger, it dips the coal into the pan and Flashes the pan, which fires the musket most of the time. Sometimes just the pan will flash and you must scramble to re-prime and be ready to fire again when the next command is given. But most of the time it works. And then you are ready to start all over again. <laughs>